How's it going, everyone? Um, I don't know if you guys can distinguish the lighting difference. I got myself these um, two, I guess you could say, light bulbs or whatever. I don't know. I'm extremely tired, but did my pre-market analysis, figured out what stock I'm going to jump into, and I actually just put my market order in on um, TIF, Tiffany & Co. And this pattern has showed up again and again and again. I'm in the opposite direction, but I'm hoping, I'm not really hoping, I'm pretty confident in my position that it's going to happen in the short direction. But I'll show you guys when I pretty much get out of my position, what like kind of what happened or if I reverse my position or not. But All right, so, so far so good. I went in at 128.15, as you guys can see. And I plan on getting out around I honestly just missed my exit, but it's fine. It's completely fine. I was picking up my camera and I missed. See, this is how fast and volatile these stocks are, but I'm gonna set the camera down and get out. Alright, so I just got out the stock, right? And I got a little too early. Um, I mean, but green is green. I was in at 1.26% profit. I still haven't typed it into um, the Excel sheet or whatever, but uh, pretty solid day, pretty solid day. I got out way too early. I started getting anxious because the stock seemed to be consolidating, which it wasn't. It just still kept pushing down. But I mean, like I said, green is green and I'll take my profits. Um, I got into TIF for the reason that it had a um, it had a price target raised, I'll show you guys, price target raised to 140 per share from 113 by credit Suzy. Um, so pretty much this pattern happens over and over and over again, right? Um, I've seen this pattern happen multiple times in the opposite way when price target gets cut and, um, if false pre-market and then it picks up at market open because the news aren't that relevant in my opinion. And um, yes, they're important, but they're not too, they shouldn't have an overall long-term effect on the stock, right? In terms of um, day trading. And I saw that right when I saw this, I knew I had to short it, right? I had to short it because the news, it was just being hyped in my opinion. It wasn't too relevant to where it was gonna keep shooting up at, right at market open. And that's exactly what it did. I got in at, um, at 128.15 and I got at 126.53. Um, just to show you guys my monitor tab, here's my sell position which I shorted and I bought back in at 10 minute, 11 minutes after market opened. Um, yeah, 50 shares, $81 profit. And yeah, it still seems to be. I was plan as uh, I was planning on exiting at 22, around the 20s, right? But I got out a little too early. But it's fine. I took my profits. And this is what I wrote: short due to this pattern happening again and again. Excuse the sloppy writing, but it's just history tends to repeat itself. It's plain and simple, right? If it happens once, it happens twice, it happens three times, and just calculate what your percentage ratio in terms of winning is and then trade according to that right make a plan my plan was two percent stop loss and 1.5 to three percent take profits i took profits a little early just because i started getting fearful and um not greedy i guess yeah just fearful in a way where i didn't want to end up with lower than one percent profit so i just quickly took my profits and it's still shooting down right right now it just passed the 126 mark so it should keep shooting down and it's just part of the game i'm gonna just walk out and continue along my day but yeah green is green let's see how the week goes last week was all green the week before that was pretty much all green so i've been on a consistent roll now it's just a matter of adjusting this methodology or this trading strategy and getting ready for me to come back in with my actual real money. We'll see how that goes, but yeah. Just to show you guys where it's at right now. 
just past the 126 mark. sheet kind of calculating my wins to loss ratios and then um, just to track the reason for entry the result that happened so as you guys can see it's there's a lot of writing being done here and the date of course and then the day of the week and the percentage gain um, just an overall better way for me to determine if I'm ready or not to go in with real money right I'm doing this for 20 days I'm calling it my 20 day exam I would suggest you guys doing this, just look, I'm not, I'm not lying, my 20 day final trading exam. And from these 20 days, kind of calculate how many days am I getting green, how many days am I getting red, and from there, kind of, okay, so if you get 15 green days and 5 red days, then for the following month, right, there's 20 days in the trading month, right? Um, for the following month, you know to expect 15 days or better, right, if you get any less, you would kind of take a step back and reevaluate your trading methodology, right? If you get more, then that's great. Keep doing what you're doing and keep improving, right? But it's just more to track your overall progress and not just kind of going in without a structured plan, right? Like I always keep on reiterating, go into the markets with structure, right? As much structure as possible. No people with no structure tend to fail, right? That's why the majority of people fail because they go into an unstructured environment with no structure right they don't have a plan they don't stick to their plan and um, they aren't disciplined enough to stick to their plan right and this just kind of gives you a better um, idea of who you really are as a trader and whether or not you're ready to go in with your own money with the new trading methodology yes it might be boring yes it might be um, feel like a waste of time but hey if it if it really makes me a better trader then I'm gonna do it right do what others won't so you can get what others can't right and um, but yeah I just kind of wanted to show you guys I don't think I've ever shown you I, s I know you guys have seen me type in numbers but that's what it is pretty much for me to track my progress I kind of um, just started uh, my I would track it before but I just started my quote-unquote final and um, I'm doing it for 20 days uh, last week I was only able to take three trade i was only able to trade three times a week and um but yeah i'm gonna do this for 20 days and kind of just take you guys along with me along my journey and um hopefully you guys can see me transition over to real money and see if i'm able to keep this consistency going right but yeah i just wanted to plug this in before uh, i started editing the video but yeah that's pretty much it today was a short video probably three four minutes long five minutes at most uh, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram. Again, sorry I talk a little low. It sound, might sound like I have no energy, but my housemates are sleeping and I do have a lot of voice. So I have to keep it down a little bit, right? Respect their, um, their sleep, right? But yeah, make sure you guys subscribe because a lot of you guys watch but aren't subscribed. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. How it going?